The king sits in Dunfermline town, drinking the blood red wine. Says, where will I get me a brave young skipper, sail this ship of mine? And I've been spoken old old man, sad at the king's right knee. He says, Patrick Spend is the very best sailor who ever did sail on the sea. So the king, he has written him a long, long letter, sealed it with his hand. And he sent it along to Patrick Spence, walking down on the sand. On the very first time that Patrick cried, so loud, so loud, loud he. And the very next time that Patrick cried, down he fell to his knee. Oh, who is this who has done this deed, telling the king on me? For to send us out this time of the year, to sail on the salt, salt sea. To Norway, to far Norway, to Norway, over the foam. It is the king's daughter, far Norway, and we must bring her home. Now they set sail with all good speed on a Monday in the morn. And they have arrived far over the sea on a Wednesday in the evening. And they've not been in far Norway a week but barely three. When all those lords of far Norway began out aloud for to say, Oh, you Scots foreigners, spend our king's gold, swallow up our money. Oh, weary, weary, the tongue that lies, see how it lies on me. Make ready, ready, my good men, on the little ship sails in the morn. Be it wind, be it wet, be it hail, be it sleep, be it fair, or deadly storm. But the up and spoke, our own weather man, I fear we'll all be drowned. For I saw the new moon late last night, the old moon in her arm. And they'd not sailed a league and a league, a league but barely three. When through and through the little ship's side despite the green wall sea. Oh, where will I get me a brave young boy? Take my helm in hand. While I climb up to the tall top mast, see, can I spy land? And he's not gone a step and a step, a step but barely one. When the whirling winds in the ugly jaws come and driving to their shin. Oh, fetch me a web of the silken cloth, another web of the twine. And lay them around our little ship's side, let not the sea come in. And they got a web of the silken cloth, another web of the twine. And they laid them around the little ship's side, till the sea come in. Oh, the anchor snapped. The top mast crack, it was a deadly storm. And the whirling winds and the oakly jaws come a driving to their chin. And there come a gale from the north northeast, so loud, so loud it weep. It cried Patrick's tent, and all of his men are drowning in the deep. Scots lords to wet their shining shoe, but long and dare this play was done, their hats were soaking through, and many were the five feather men of flattering over the foam, and many were the good lord's sons never ever more come home, and long, long will the ladies sit, their gold combs in their hand. Before they see Sir Patrick Spence a sailing to try hand. Oh, it's east by north from Abadar, it's fifty fathom deep. And it's there it lies, Patrick Spence, the Scots Lord's at his feet. Mm -hmm.